So carpal tunnel syndrome for most people tends to turn up as uh, numbness in some of your fingers. More commonly, it involves the thumb, index finger, and middle finger. What carpal tunnel is, is your median nerve at the wrist level is actually being compressed. And so it's not allowed to send signals back and forth from your brain to your hand. And this presents for you as numbness and sometimes weakness. It has to do basically with everyone's individual anatomy. It's a super common problem. There's some consideration to overuse being uh, something that incites injury. So anytime you do things that are frequently using your hands, typing, um, carpentry, whatever, uh, these things can lead to carpal tunnel syndrome. Basically, you just kind of run out of space uh, within the carpal tunnel, which is essentially a bag of bones uh, with a ligament for a roof. And through that tunnel go all the tendons that wiggle your fingers and your nerve sits right on top. So what the surgery does essentially is just open up that tunnel to allow room for swelling. There's multiple ways to perform carpal tunnel release. Either a small incision is made in the palm. Uh, alternatively, I do mine endoscopically. I make a small incision at the wrist level. Patients are asleep for this and everything is numbed up. Basically, you go home, no splint on your hand, just a soft dressing. Within two days, you can take that off. You're wiggling your fingers again. And I would say in general, about two weeks for recovery. And then people who do heavy manual labor, uh, carpenters, things like that, it may require up to six weeks of recovery.